Now, in seeing the overview to the painting, most of my activity has been constant, uh, constantly been uh, adding the paint. What I'm going to do at this point is start taking some kinds of paint away from the situation. And, and one of the things that I'm looking at is that this area probably needs to be toned down. I could glaze it. That would be one way to deal with it. Uh, I'm going to now introduce the idea of the stamping process because I'm going to also bring other textures and things into it. And on this side, I'm going to try to stamp with a dark uh, grid over it. And on this one here, I'm going to put in a light grid because I think I like the light and I'm going to try to lighten some of this and still retain some of the vigor of the underlying pattern. And again, taking concern of that. Uh, just looking at this, see how nicely that little accident came out. Sometimes you get into these problems that uh, you never would realize work out better than they, they, when they happen. So never discount uh, the accident. In fact, I'm, I'm a very firm believer in, in letting accidents happen. What I'm going to do here is use one of these kinds of grids that, that basically were used for putting uh, embroidery into. I found them in, in uh, material stores where they sell these craft type materials. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to basically drop a grid over that area and it's going to be a dark grid. And the way I'm going to achieve that is I'm going to paint on this grid the paint, literally, and use it to, to, to deliver that dark shape or those dark grid shapes. And whether they come out perfectly or not, that's really irrelevant. All we really want to do here is just get something in there that basically would be a grid that would be activate that area. This is a little bigger one than I usually do. but And I use these, and there's all kinds of ways to do these stamps and so forth. As we'll look into, we'll pop in a couple other variations and so forth. Well, I'm, what I'm doing here now is I'm going to just drop this one right over here, and I'm going to use the roller just to sort of evenly apply it. And you can see now, see that grid happen in there? And, and it didn't go completely down, so what I'm going to do is just put another layer in here. And what that's giving now, it's giving a, a way of looking through at the same time you're looking at something geometric. So anything with that kind of purpose involved, something, some kind of a grid effect, looking through the veil of that would make a, a reasonable way to go.